Excel accounting practice problem. Bills, enter, sort, and pay. Get ready, because we're about to Excel. Here we are in our Excel worksheet. In prior presentations, we put together the worksheet from a blank sheet. Now we're continuing to enter transactions into it. If you have access to it, there's two tabs down below, an example tab and a practice tab. The practice tab starting out where we left off last time. The example tab, in essence, being an answer key. Let's take a look at it now. We're going to be entering the month-end type of bills that are typical month-end type of bills, like a telephone, the internet expense, the utilities, and so on. Last time we did this in the last month, we simply paid them, imagining we write a check for them or pay them directly out of the checking account. This time, we're going to be putting them first into the accounts payable, entering, say, the bill, a bill type of form. If you were taking a look at accounting software like a QuickBooks, you would be using a bill type of form to enter it, that increasing the accounts payable. Then we'll be paying off some of those bills. If you work in a larger type of company, this, of course, will be the typical type of process. You want to enter the bill when you get it so that the bill is in place and the expense is typically recorded closer to the point in time that you actually consumed it. And you then have the ability and the use of the software to sort your bills, try to do your cash management as well as possible, paying the bills that become due, paying them as late as possible so that you can maximize your holding on to your money, which can be generally good if you have a lot of transactions that will be involved while not incurring penalties and so on for or making vendors angry <laughs> by not paying them on time. So let's go back to the practice tab and record some of these transactions. So we're going to be going down and uh, let's do our cleanup work first. Cleanup work first. First things first here. We're going to go to the skinny column and then select all the way to the left to the A. Right click and hide those columns. And then we're going to take our ending balances from last time, make them our beginning balances this time. So we'll copy those ending balances here. Control C, I'm going to paste them right here in V4, right click and pasting them one, two, three. Going to delete the center column so that we can focus in on just what we're doing at this time. So first we're going to start off and say the telephone. We got the telephone, we're going to enter a bill for it instead of just paying it at this point. So standard transactions, we're basically entering it on account. This would be done with a bill type of form in accounting software, such as a QuickBooks, remembering that a bill type of form often for accounting software means it's, it's going to be us owing something that came from the vendor. We owe something from some vendor that we got goods and services from. The invoice then is usually us on the other side of the table, us charging for goods and services. You got to keep those kind of things straight because in practice, outside of software, you can use those two terms interchangeably. They invoiced in a bill. You can say either side of the table. But in software, you want to know which, which way those forms are going to be used for the data input purposes of bill, meaning we got goods and services. We're increasing the accounts payable. We're going to owe money ultimately at the end. So we're going to say that the telephone is the debit, telephone expense. Other side going to the AP, accounts payable. The accounts payable right there. That's it. Let's enter an indentation, and we're just going to say that it was for 360. We'll post these out as we go. So we're going to say the telephone is right there, going down to the telephone. Telephone is in X30 equals, scrolling over to that 360, increasing it to 360 for the current month, 770 for the year to date. And then we've got the accounts payable up top, the AP as it's often called, and X14 equals scrolling down to that 360 increasing in the debit direction to the 3720 in both the year to date and current month. We're back in balance. So there's going to be a decrease to the net income both in the current month and the year to date numbers, these being the starting points. Now let's post it out to the GL. We got the telephone. That's like the fourth to last account down here on the income statements let's go all the way to the right till we find that telephone expense telephone i told the phone i'll tell you i'll tell you what phone i'm telling the phone i'm telling the phone what so this is going to be 228 we're now in cg5 cg5 equals left till we hit the phone the wall and then we're scrolling down to pick that telephone telephone 360 so that brings it up to the year-to-date number of the 770 and the current period at the 360. 
which should match the trial balance. We're out of balance, of course, by the 360. And we scroll down to the trial balance and say there's the 360 current period, 770 year to date number. Then the other side going to the AP, A to the P. That's posted to the general ledger. Here's the AP, that's the first liability account. It's going to be the same on the G to the L. So we're looking for the A to the P and the G to the L. It's A to the P right there in the G to the L. Accounts payable in the general ledger, in other words. It's my lingo. It's my accounting lingo. BA6 equals left to the wall. Scrolling down to the AP. 36D and enter. So there we have it. So now we increase to the 3720, uh, that 3720 then also on the trial balance and we're back in balance up top. Trial balance down here. Same for the year to date and the current month because we're talking about a balance sheet account. Now let's post it to the sub ledger, meaning we owe the telephone company. So we're going to go all the way to the right to the sub ledger for the telephone company. And I think our company is called Verizon. So I'm, I might misspell it, but I'm going to say Verizon. That's our telephone company, like AT&T, Verizon, those telephone companies. Verizon, we're going to say 228. And then 228. And then in cell DQ5 equals left to the wall. And then scrolling down, we're going to pick up the AP36D, increasing it in the credit direction. If we add up our four vendors that we owe, they add up to that 3720, matching what's on the trial balance given by the green zero. But let's double check 3720. Scrolling back to the trustee TB trial balance. Trial balance. We're going to go all the way to the right to the trustee TB. There it is. I think it's the same. I can't remember what it was, but I'm pretty sure. If it's not, let me know. Let me know if, I, if it's not. So then we're going to go down. This is on 228. We're going to imagine that we have internet expense now. So we haven't, didn't pay the internet last month. So we're going to add an account and I'm going to, I'm going to add that account right under the cost of goods sold because it's going to start with an I and I'm going to try to put it in alphabetical order as it would be an accounting software if you didn't use account numbers within the account category of other expenses, not including cost of goods sold, which is a special expense. So we're going to put it down here. I'm going to select these five cells. I think there's five of them. Right click and insert shift down. And I'm just going to call this the internet expense. Obviously we have a lot more flexibility on the expense side of things. Sometimes you might put that into, you could think about putting it into utilities or the telephone expense and so on. So you, you got to determine how many categories you want to be breaking out and how much detail you want more detail given you more information, but also being more complex as you do the data input. So that's going to be the debit on the telephone, the internet expense this time, the interwebs. And then we're going to go up top and say the credit's going to go to the AP accounts payable because we're entering a bill type of form. This is a bill type form transaction alignment indent. And then the amount is going to be for 180 on the debit and the credit. Let's post it out to the trusty TB trial balance first. Right here in X27 equals the 180. Same for both the month and year to date because we didn't have anything in the first month. But there is a difference in the impact on the net income because that's our starting net income. That's the year to date. Here's the change. Let's post it to the AP now. Here's the A to the P. Accounts payable. On up top, there's something in it. So I'm going to say F2 plus F2 on the keyboard not even using the mouse at all and then scrolling over to the 180 bringing the ap to the 3900 in both the year to date and current month let's go to the internet expense now which is going to be down here on the trial balance and do the same thing on the gl so it's our first one after cost of goods sold or it's after cost of goods sold let's say and we have to add it we don't even have it over here yet so it's not included yet so we're going to add another one we're going to add something right here for the internet. So I'm going to put my cursor on the skinny, go on over to the BZ, control C, put that in the skinny right here, right click and insert the copied cells, delete the activity, zero out the beginning balance and get rid of the activity and then scroll down. This second one, we don't even need this. I'm just going to put a gap in the teeth of my, of my GL accounts here because it looks like they're 
they they look like a line of teeth. So there's going to be a gap right here. I'm going to format paint it so it's just the bland bland format formatting and then delete it. So there we have it. Maybe we'll put something there later as we continue on with our journey. So then we're in CB2. CB2 equals left to the wall. Not to the wall. I'm gonna, I'm actually going to stop short here. I don't need to go to the wall. I'm going to scroll down. And we're going to pick up the internet expense. That looks good. And then we'll put the amount of 228. And then in CC5. CC5. We're going to say left to the wall. We got to CC this one. Because this GL account needs to be in the loop. This Excel account needs to be in the loop. In CC5. So we're in 8. 180 enter we looped in the cc cell on internet expense let's add that to our gl account check number then scrolling over to the check number because i don't think it's added into this number yet because we should be off by the 180 so i'm going to double click on it go to the end of it and plus and put that cell in here so the gl is cc'd into the loop two it needs to be involved. It wants to know what's happening. So we're in CD, uh, CD12, enter. So there we go. Now we're off by the 180. And then, and then we're going to go to the accounts payable. Accounts payable. That's the first liability account. So let's go to the A to the P. AP, accounts payable. What are you going to have for dinner? AP. Just one P? AP, accounts payable. B87 equals left to the wall. We're going to go down and then we're going to be picking up the accounts payable 180. There it is. So we're up to the 3900. That 3900 matching what's on the trustee trial balance here in both the year to date and the current period. And then we also matched out the internet okay so now let's record it to the ap sub ledger oh we also need i have a a red thing here we need to include that new account the internet expense in this check number which is matching out the the, the net income to the year to date number down here so i'm going to double click on that one go to the end of it and say plus scroll on over to that internet one this one's not in the loop it's not in the loop and it's getting agitated so agitated that it turned red so we got to bring it in the loop so it doesn't get agitated so now we're at the 13 848 1384 matching the 1384 down here okay now we can go to the accounts payable add the vendor the vendor is not going to be internet expense we're going to assume the vendor is spectrum which is a company that does internet stuff which they might have changed their name now but we're just going to use the same one so I'm going to call it Spectrum. Spectrum. That might not be spelled right. If it's not, I don't even apologize. I don't even care if that makes people upset. Whatever. That's how crazy I am. So I'm on DU17 equals left to the wall, left to the wall. And then we're going to be picking up the accounts payable 180. So there we have it. So now if we add up our four vendors, they add up to this 3900. That should match what's on the trial balance given by the green zero. But let's double check it back to the trusty TB. 3900 in the AP. Is that right? That is correct. That's what we have. Okay, so then we got next the utility bill. We're going to assume Edison utility bill. We're going to enter that in place. Month in bill, utility. You might put this into the electric expense or something like that. Or you might just group the gas and the electric into utilities, which is what we'll do here. And that's what we did last month. We want to be consistent. Consistency is important. And then the other side is going to go into the AP. AP. We're going to go to the home tab, alignment indent. We're going to say that one was for the 648. There it is. Let's post it out. We got the utilities posting out to the to the trial balance first we are in cell x32 equals picking up the 648 bringing the current month to 648 the year to date to 1268 
accounts payable up top in the AP. Something's in it because that's where our focus is at this point. F2 plus F2 to add to it. And then scrolling down, we're going to pick that 648 up again. We're at the 4548. Let's post it to the GL. Utilities is the third to last account on the trial balance. It will be the same for the G to the L. Utilities is going to be way over here. Way over here after the telephone. I'm telling the phone. I'm telling the phone. This is going to be 228. And then we're in CK17 equals left all the way to the wall. And then scrolling down. We're picking up the 648 enter. There we have it. Year to dates at the 1268. The current month at the 648. Let's double check that in the trusty trial balance one more time, even though we saw it before. There it is, the 648, the 1268. Let's post the other side to the general ledger, the AP. That's, of course, our first liability account. So I want AP. I'm hungry. I want AP. AP. That's all I need. 228 in AZ. AZ8. Now we're in A or BA8 equals left to the wall. Scrolling down to the AP. We got an AP. That's all. It, now I'm full. I feel good now. So that that comes out to the 4548. Uh, that should match what's on the trial balance now. Is that, is that the case? It is indeed the case. Indeed. And then we got to post this to the to the sub ledger for the AP. The AP needs a sub ledge as well. You can't just have AP without working for it. AP is a lot of work to get a P. One P. So now I got to add more more rows here. So I'm going to put my cursor on the skinny. I'm going to put it on the skinny and drag over to the DV Control C and then go to this skinny and insert the copied cells I'm going to do some deleting i don't i want to delete this and delete the activity and then delete spectrum and the activity and then this is going to be called edison edison is our electric company which we paid for and posted it to utilities so and this is going to be at 228 so in dy dy5 minus or equals, not minus, left to the wall, and then scrolling down, and we're going to be picking up the 648 enter, so that looks good, now we got to add that to my check number up here, so it checks off, the check number needs to be checked out, because it's red, it's red, that only happens when something's wrong, the check number's not feeling good. So we'll add those two into the check number. And I picked up the wrong one. I, I picked up the debit and I should have picked up the credit. That's what the check number is for. So I'm going to say equals all the way. I did that on purpose, by the way, in case you guys were. I hear you, sh you saying I did it wrong now. I was ignoring you yelling at me that I picked up the wrong number because it was for demonstrational purposes. So there we have it. So now if we pick these up, the check number is now green. So we're at the 4548. That 4548 should match what's on the trusty trial balance. Double checking it. Double check. There's one check next to it right now. We need two of them because we need a double check. 4548, 4548, double check. So then the next one we're going to say, now we're going to say that we're going to pay off a couple of these ones. We're going to be paying off now the telephone and we're going to pay off then the other one of, uh, we're going to say the internet. So the transaction to pay these off, we're going to need some more space to do that. Actually, I could probably fit them down here, but no. I'm going to add another column, another set of stuff here. Let's let's blueify these just to just to bring it down to the end here. I'm going to format paint this down here. So I got a little bit more room, but I'm going to make another column just to do so. So I'm going to go up top. We're going to copy from P to S, Control C, and I'm going to put that in into the skinny right here. I'm going to right click and insert those copied cells. I need a skinny between the S and the T, a skinny column that is. So we'll take this skinny over here. We're going to put that on T, which we'll post it right before that. Insert, right click and insert. There's the skinny. And then should I hide these columns or do I want to see? I kind of want to see those, so I won't hide them. 
And then we'll do the format paint in here. Format paint, home tab, paint brush. Paint brush it so we don't have those indentations. We just got a nice blue slate. And then delete the activity. And so here we go. So now we're on 228. We're gonna imagine we're paying off some of these. So now accounts payable is gonna go down. And we're gonna say the other side's simply gonna go to the checking account. So AP is gonna go down. Other side is coming out of the checking account. This would be like a check type of form. But if it was in accounting software like a QuickBooks, it would be a special check form indicating that it's paying down an accounts payable uh, activity. So this is going to be for the 360, which I could just say, let's pull that from this 360 because we're paying off the telephone, paying in essence Verizon being the vendor. There we have, there we have the transaction. Let's post it out to the trial balance AP first. This AP is now going down. So we're in AC 14 F2 plus F2. AP is going down to the 4188 and then the checking account the checking account is going to the AC AC4 equals picking up that 360 360 bringing it down 105902 for both year to date and the current portion notice that there's no impact on the income statement from this particular transaction because of course we hit the income statement when we entered the bill so now let's go to AP on the general ledger that's our first liability account AP is going to go down. So we had that one P AP for dinner and it's going down because we're going to, we're going to eat it. We're going to eat AP. So this is going to be 228. So we're in BF nine equals left to the wall. Not exactly to the wall. I'm going to stop short because I left those other cells open. The wall's too far out now. I'm getting better, super accurate. I don't even need to hit the wall before I stop. 4548 down by the 360 to the 4188. That should match what's on the trusty TB. It does right there. So now we'll record the other side, which is to the checking account, which that's easy because that's the first one. That's on 228. Not as much activity to the checking account this month. Equals, and then we'll pick up that checking account decrease. Decrease to the checking down to the 105902. That matches what's on the trustee TB. Let's record this AP now also to the subledge for the person we paid off, which is the telephone company, which is Verizon. We paid Verizon for the telephone company way on over here, way over here in the subledge. Verizon. So now we're going to pay that off. 228. We're in DZ5. Yes, we're getting dizzy but because there's a lot of stuff left all the way to the wall, but I'm going to try to stop short. We're going to try to, boom, not quite to the wall, stopped right there. That's the control of precision that I happen to possess. So there's the 360 and then it goes down back to zero. So we're back to zero up top. Our vendor's now adding up in the sub ledger to the 4188. That should match what's on the TB. Let's check it out. Just to double check on the TB. And then we'll do one more, one more time here. There we go. So let's do one more imagining we're going to pay off the 180, which was the internet expense to spectrum. Same transactions or same accounts impacted. Accounts payable going down now. Other side going to the checking account. And then indent and we're paying off. Let's just say equals or plus that 180 down here for the internet expense because we're paying spectrum off there's the debit and the credit a check type form that's the transaction related to a check type form but a special check type form paying off accounts payable so the ap let's go and pick that up in the ap double clicking ap plus there's the 180 taking it down to the 4008 in both the year to date and current month the checking account up top double clicking in it Going to the end of it and plus picking up the 180, bringing the checking account down. Let's record it to the GL now. So we got the AP, AP, which is the first liability account, of course. It's the same in the GL. So we're going on over to the AP. AP, you're going down. You're going down by $180. So we're in BF10 equals left. Not quite hitting the wall because we're practicing precision. Picking up that 180, bringing it to, went down to 4008. I told you, AP. 
I told you you were going down. That's what I'm talking about. So now we're at the 4008 here that matches with the trial balance. And then we've got the, uh, the checking account. Checking account in the GL is going to be down in AG14 to 28. We're in AH. AH14 equals that 180, bringing it down as well to the 105,722. There it is. I kind of like, I would kind of like that one to be going up. It's going down, but I'm not quite as happy as I am when the AP goes down. When the AP goes down, you're going down AP and the checking account goes down and that's not, that's not good. But in any case, now we're going to say the AP and the sub ledger is going to be all the way to the right. We're looking for, what do we pay out? Spectrum for the internet. Spectrum's the vendor. All the way to the right. We're looking for you, Spectrum. We're looking for you. There it is. So we're here in die DY 18228. Because if we didn't have our internet, we'd die. And so DZ, DZ, Dizzy 18 equals left to the, we're not going to hit the wall. I'm going all the way over here, going to stop without hitting the wall. Boom. That was perfectly executed, almost perfect. And then we're in W5, enter. So there we have it. So now we owed them 180, now we paid them. We don't owe Spectrum anymore. Stop bothering me, Spectrum. I don't want to hear from you for another month. And so now if we add up our vendors, we're at the 4008. That should match what's on the trial balance over here, the trusty TB, which I believe it does. I'm quite confident. My confidence level is at like an eight to nine. There it is. So this is where we stand at this point in time. So you could check your numbers and see if you're you're in the same location of standing. And then we'll continue to move forward next time.